Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer, and welcome back to another video. And in this video, we're going to talk about the rewarding grind of No Man's Sky. Now, if you've been paying attention, I think I binge streamed the game for like a week straight. And I mean, there was a day where I did, I want to say eight or nine, just straight hours of streaming. Right? I love this game. I love what they did to the game. I love the updates to the game. And one of the reasons why I actually really like this game is it's got a very rewarding grind system in it. So all of the systems are interconnected, right? So let's say you want to get a better mining tool, right? Because you want to like grind up something in mining, right? Instead of having, okay, it's your mining tool, you have to mine to get a better mining tool. You can sit there and grind out quests, or you can grind out exploration, or you can grind out, if you really want to, items to get a better multi-tool or better multi-tool parts. And then you get a better multi-tool. Very simple. And the thing that makes this grind in No Man's Sky very rewarding is the fact that you can also do whatever you want to get the stuff that you want. Like, let's just take the freighters, for example, right? If I want to get a freighter and I want to get some frigates to go on an exploration mission, well, think of all the different ways I got to get units. I have the freighter quests, mining and of course trading i mean if you really want to if you have a trade network set up you do that um then of course discovery if you bump up your scanner on your multi-tool you get a lot of money so no man's sky there's more thought to the grind that needs to be put into it than meets the eye right if i want a better set of frigates then i also might as well grind up something like a better base because a better base allows me to make different kinds of resources. Or I might as well, you know, while I'm grinding up this money, I could go explore because that gives me nanites to add to my multi-tool. There's just so much, so many different strategies and metas that you get to play how you want when you grind. That's the main concept behind No Man's Sky's grind, is that you simply just get to do whatever you want to get the stuff that you want. So many different ways to do stuff. Now, there are some things like base building, right? You have to have a bunch of carbon or ferrite dust or anything like that for base building. And really, the only way to get ferrite dust is either mining or go up to the store and buy a bunch of ferrite dust. So, I mean, there's two ways to get ferrite dust. Very simple. Carbon. Sometimes the store doesn't even have carbon. You just got to go beat up some trees, just like Minecraft. But... I mean, it's still, even with those two systems, it goes in depth. I especially like the grind with the crafting system because the crafting system goes in real depth. And I feel like my inventory space is never limiting. Like, I, I found a ship crashed. And this is one of the things. You can either buy a ship or find a crashed ship, whichever way you want to do it. And I had to repair the ship. But... It was like, okay, this part needs a technology module and 500 chromatic material. And if I had the technology module, I could put it in already so that it clears up space in my inventory to collect some chromatic material. Well, in that case, it was copper to mine into chromatic material. So it's things like that that make the grind less grindy. You don't have to build a storage chest, go put the copper in a storage chest, put the refiner there, spend the same time on the planet, and then you put the storage chest there. So if you leave the planet, you got to go back to the planet, get the storage chest. There's still storage chests you can build. I mean, those still exist. But they're there for the people like me. I like to collect sometimes a lot of hydrogen and tritium because I know I'm going to need it. So I'm allowed to do that instead of just having to stop on every planet and find hydrogen, go up in the air, mine some tritium. I'm allowed to store stuff. And... Then it's like, like if I want to, if I am in the mood to get a bunch of the mining part of the grind done now, I'm allowed to do that. If I don't, then I don't have to do that. There, so not only is there many different ways to get through the grind, but you can do the grind in pretty much whatever order you want, which makes it all the better because then it doesn't feel like a grind. It feels like a personalized experience that I created for myself. And that's, I think, the beauty of the grind of No Man's Sky. So, if you enjoyed this video, you can tell me in the comments below. Subscribe if you're new for more No Man's Sky videos. I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games, and I'll see you in the next episode, vlog, or stream, or whatever I decide to make.